All right, guys, what we got here is a 2018 Ultima Midnight SR Edition. It's an awesome dark color. Nice car. Uh, we're going to do brakes. We're going to do front brakes and rear brakes. I'm going to go through real quickly with the front brake. Like I said, before in my other videos, you guys have been through this already. So I'm just gonna go give you a quick little uh, little tune up. All right. So over here that holds the caliper is two 14 millimeter bolts. 14 millimeter bolts, bolt right here. Okay. And then this is a 22 millimeter bolt. Just make sure about that. Kind of forgot already. Yes, it is. 22. Right, 22 socket removes the bracket. So take the 14s out, hang your caliper up out of the way. Okay, so you don't break the hose. Take the two 22s off, and this whole bracket assembly comes off. Once the bracket assembly comes off, what you want to do is take your old clips off, discard them, get a wire brush, clean that all up, put your new clips back on. Up over here, the floating pistons, these pins have to move freely. So make sure that moves freely. If you feel one binding, you gotta take it apart, clean it, and grease it up. So once the bracket is off, all you have is just the rotor. Take a nice little sledge, give it a whack right there, and the thing will pop right off. And then it's off. Now, throw it back on, you clean it, don't forget your AutoZone brake cleaner, get all the oil that's off of it, the residue, put it on. I put a uh, lug nut on here to hold it, otherwise the uh, the rotor wants to pop out. So you don't want to pop out because then it'll hit this bracket. Not that the scratch is going to do anything, but listen, put a lug nut in there, hold it nice and steady. Here's my caliper bracket all nice and clean, wire brushed, new clips, put your 22 bolts 22 millimeter bolts back on tighten them back to specs and then we're going to put the pads on once the pads go on then the caliper is going to go on all right so i'm going to go and tighten these up first all right with the brake pads going in there's pretty interesting clips over here see this this is the clip that's on the brake pad that goes on the outside Let me show you another one here okay you bend that up and it goes on the outside not tucked in here but this one which one is this one here the first one that gets tucked in and goes under the other clip all right interesting right okay leave it to Nissan now we're gonna take this caliper put it right in here don't forget to lubricate it forward and backwards with the, the package of lube that it gives you all right, push this in with my one hand here. That'll sit in there. And this one will sit in there. And then we'll put the other bolts on. So I'll do it with my one hand here. There you go. Come on, come on, buddy. There you go. Perfect. All right, put back your 14s. And this side is good to go. All right. It's all about attention to detail, people. Make everything clean. Wire brush everything. Don't put any grease on the pads or the rotors. Otherwise, it'll give it a reason to squeak. All right, now look at the old pads. Check this out. It has a, uh, from heat, heat stress, heat cracks. See it? That'll give you a noise. All right, pads are down. They start to crack when it gets really thin. Change the hardware, people. Don't forget, very important. And these are the parts that I'm using. Duralast Elite brake pads. The best ones they make. This is the Duralast rotors for the fronts. All right, that's it. Good to go. Don't forget your little plant hanger. Put it all back together. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Oh, I know, and I forgot. Don't forget to push back your piston pin.
get a tool, rent the tool, squeeze it right in. Should give you no resistance. If it does, replace that caliper. Make sure that the boot is nice and uh, clean, it's not ripped. Okay, when you look at it, make sure it's nice and dry. No leaks whatsoever, okay? And that's it. Ciao.